All right, guys, so I just got my ECU back in the mail um, from C2 Motorsports, and now we've got it back, and let's unbox this bebe. Let's unbox that bebe. Let's use this. Blam. All right. So we've got a tuned ECU from C2 Motorsports, and then I've got another surprise for you guys coming in a little bit later in this video. So stay tuned. All right, guys. What's up? So I just got home from work, and the surprise package is here. Let me bring it inside, and I'll unbox it for you. All right, so we kind of got it in the door. Almost fell in the process. All right, grab my freaking, I don't know what this is. Grab my lid. Oh, <laughs> all right, splam, and we've got some litty lit lit wheels, guys. So they are the Alzor or whatever, um, O2O style, um, 30 millimeter offset and 18 by 10 inches wide. So, it's real messed up, but YOLO. Go big or go home. Yeah, you only YOLO ones. Wow. All right guys, so today is the day that I plan on finishing kind of getting things rolling so I can at least drive the car. Um, so right now I'm off to do the ECU, put that in, and figure out if I can get the timing belt a little bit less tension, just because it's kind of whining just a little bit. Nothing crazy, but I'd rather not have one snap on me. So. Cal, you need to chill. All right, guys, so I put on D-Side. We've got D-Side All. That's pretty cool. Let me go to this side. Oh, yeah, wow. Wow. And then there's that guy. And then it'll make a 90 that way. All right, guys, so it's been a while, a few hours. Um. So everything is on, kind of. Um, I just need the battery in and to plug this, because there's gonna be a major bit boost leak out of that. So plug this hole. Um, and then all that's left is to start it and see what it does with the tune in. I have the ECU in. So to get to the ECU, um, you gotta pop this tray up. Um, and to pop the tray up, uh, you gotta get your windshield wipers. It's a 13 or 13 or 14 uh, millimeter nut. And that pops off, and then there's uh, splines on the windshield wiper, so you kind of have to work it up. Just pop those off, 
and then you can kind of work in this edge and the whole tray will come up so that is that and now I'm just gonna go over things and then probably fire it up a little bit see what it does and if all is well take it for a drive all right guys so I don't know how well lit my face is but there's the eBay lights from way back when they're still going strong um, so everything is hooked up so there's the turbos down in there blows through here down in out up back here 90 and then 90 in here try and figure it out tomorrow but it's all together guys all right guys nice morning on my way to work um, I did turn the car around yesterday so I got it that far notice that the speedometer doesn't work um, I'm gonna back it out right now and just see if it left a puddle of anything. So. So it doesn't look like it left. This was under the wheel, so it just got some moisture under there. I think. I don't know. Um, doesn't look like there's a puddle of anything. I'm gonna head to work and I'll videotape a little bit just to see if we're making boosts and stuff. Uh, this is exciting, guys. It's finally done. And we're off. Almost. All right, guys, let's test it. Oh, oh this is great. All right guys, so I just got back home. Everything's running good. As you guys heard, it sounds real cool. Uh, it backfires a lot, pulls in second gear, let off the throttle and it will backfire. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna shred the transmission. It's running about nine PSI peak. Um, the way the power is with turbo cars, like lag, 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 and then uh, gets into boost around 3,500 pulls to about 5,000 um, and then I just let off the throttle, um, backfire or blow off, whatever, and then it'll shift gears and um, the one time I didn't let off and the, let the transmission do its thing, um, the clutch in the transmission will kick in and it'll kind of hold it there so that's where it's going to fry some things. Um, so if you have an automatic transmission, I'd just let off, let your foot off the throttle and let it shift on its own. Um, so that's one downside. Also another one, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, the transmission, uh, you have no control over what gear it's in, so it runs really lean when you're engine braking, so you kind of have to keep your foot on the throttle just so it's not, um, it's all the way maxed out lean. Um, until the transmission shifts and then uh, it'll drop the fuel ratio. But overall, I'm so happy about this. Um, the backfires and the blow off valve, it does like the. <laughs> um, which I'm gonna. I put the heavier spring in here because last night I was having trouble uh, making boost, but I found out that it doesn't make boost in neutral. So, I went ahead, took this apart, and put a heavier uh, spring. So, I think it's a little bit hard because the blow off valve doesn't really open. Um, the stoot 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 noise is from 
Um, I'm pretty sure it's from the turbo, the air trying to get back through the turbo. So if I lighten the spring on this, it'll just open um, a little bit more freely so I don't have so much of that noise. I don't want to stress the turbo too much. Um, it is a little bit, it's burning a little bit of oil. Um, not like crazy amounts. You can't see the clouds of smoke behind you, but you can smell it. Um, so just keep an eye on that. Otherwise, here's the car. Here's the Mark IV MK4 Jetta 2.0 Turbo. It is doable, guys, and with an automatic transmission. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for more videos of polls um, and some fun with this car. Alright, guys, so as I was editing uh, this last part of the video, I got um, the other pair of wheels the FedEx guy just pulled up. Um, so, here these are. From ECS tuning. Alright, so now I have four of them. Yeah, so these are Alzor 020 wheels. Um, they're 18 inches by 10 inches wide with a plus 30 offset. I know it's ridiculous to be putting on a Jetta uh, 10 inch wide wheels. It's not, I don't know, it's big, but it's not like crazy. Um, especially when you get a tire on there, it's gonna be like a little bit smaller than the wheel looks. Um, and I know this type of fitment is like shunned upon um, everyone on the forums. Like, that's stupid. Why would you do that? Um, why not? It's a cool looking wheel. Um, and the offset kind of, the rim's gonna be more in. People think it's gonna be like ridiculously uh, poked out. But with a 30 millimeter offset, it's not poking too much. It's out about. Um, three quarters of an inch probably um, and then you pull the fender that'll take that right up so yeah 